Ed Deck and I are fine. We're totally fine. We're totally cool. Who said we're not? I beg you don't embarrass me, motherfucker. But third time's the charm, right? So this is obviously going to be the one. So let's go ahead and do it up red deck white stake style a free holographic joker a plus 10 molt does not really tickle my pickle so let's go ahead and get right into it i did not look at what the blind was uh because i'm not we're not doing that these days uh let's get rid of everything that's not a die or a heart let's go for the heart flush and there it is right off the bat yes please and thank you How's it going today out there in Balatro land? I hope everybody's uh, jokers, I hope everybody's shops are full of rare and legendary jokers. So let's get to it. Maybe this time with the spade flush. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. Although, although I'm high enough to like that two pair better. So high enough on chips and life. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. All right. We've got the misprint. We don't have anything in our coffers yet, so I'll take a chaotic misprint multiplier. That does fun stuff sometimes. We've got the blank voucher that allegedly does nothing. And we've got uh, some other jokers that allegedly do nothing. The idol, the idol is too specific. There's 52 cards in my deck. A 1 in 52 odds that I'm going to get a times 2 multiplier every hand. And if I add cards to my deck, then... Oh, man. Then I don't know. Mm, I don't really like either of these. I'm just going to go with the molt for now and head on to the next round. The window is what we're up against. Diamonds being debuffed. I could have taken a double tag there, but... I guess I decided not to. I don't want the three of a kind. I don't care too much about that. That don't impress me much, as a certain singer once said. What are we going to get off misprint? A 16 multiple, a plus 16. Okay. <laughs> okay. Usually I find, usually I find, I don't know if it's anecdotal, but I find that, uh, I find that misprint gets a little less crazy as the, as the game goes on. You start hitting more plus zeros and stuff. Uh, what's the highest you can hit on something like this? There's a 23. Uh, maybe somewhere up in the low 20s is maybe the highest you can hit. What do we want to do here, though? Um, we could guarantee another multiplier. Multipliers sounding pretty good to me right now. I never stick with raised fist for long, but we did it last time and it worked for us for a time so why not uh get rid of any diamonds and anything that's not going to enable a flush draw i say uh certainly debuffed diamonds are not going to do that so give it to me straight doc is it a winner i think so it's a big winner all right so yeah let's try to get rid of let's try to get low cards out of hand uh so that we can raise whatever multiplier raised fist gives us so that we can get fisted with multipliers another consumable slot pretty good two pair in the shop that's not terrible maybe this can be a decent two pair run uh and we got a standard pack and a celestial let's see if we can get a uranus out of here then yeah well i am playing a lot more flushes so i don't know why i didn't take jupiter there uh, looks like in this case I'm going away from Jupiter to get more stupider. Uh, we can only play one hand, but it only has to be worth 800 chips. And with our multiplier situation, I think we'll get through the needle pretty easily on this one. Yeah, so, um, what was I doing taking, uh, Uranus over Jupiter? That was really stupid, because here I am looking for flushes. Although, this is a pretty hot two pair right here. I'll take it. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go for those two pairs unless I get more flushes in the shop or something. Let's see, 10 bucks, another, yeah, but that one goes down, so don't really want that. Uh, tarot's and standards, we're not really interested in adding standards to the deck right now. Magician makes lucky cards. I'm not huge on lucky cards, honestly. Uh... They don't hit often enough for my liking, so let's go. Let's go to it. Big blind. 
Big blinds, no whammies, big bucks. Let's see, with literally all different suits in our high cards, so I'm just gonna get rid of the low stuff so raised fist can do its thing. Uh, here we go, two pair, get that three out of hand also so that we at least get the, a plus six, not a, or a plus eight rather than a plus six. There we go, there we go, there we go. Looking pretty, pretty fly. I don't think I've scored under a thousand in a hand, so I think, okay, 15 chips per straight that I play. Uh, brr, nope. Uh, let's just see what's in the buffoon pack. This is a jumbo buffoon pack, so it's got, ooh, okay, flushes and straights can be made with four cards. Okay, okay, you're convincing me to make the pivot here. You're convincing me to make the pivot. I like it, I like it. Uh, let's go. Okay, we'll, we'll hang on to this for a rainy day. Look at that. Play only one hand. Uh, but I think it should probably be a... Well, let's see. If I get the flush... I won't get much of a molt out of this. So, let's see. Let's play King, Queen, 2, 6, 7 to keep the 8 in hand. And hope this is... 35 times 4 is... Let's see, 140, and I have to get to 800? Boy, this would be the worst time ever for Misprint to whiff. I'll tell you what. No, I need to go for the two pair. I need to play this smart. I need to go for the two pair. So let's get rid of anything terribly low out of hand. Uh, King, Queen, Jack, 10, nine. that's a straight. That would be quite a few cards. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that automatically gets us there. That's 100 times 8. We're already... The <laughs> the chips and the multipliers are setting on fire. They are ready to burn the place down. Even before we get any multipliers. So let's do it that way. 5,000 chips. Wow, very nice. Took the needle down handily. Uh, Earth and Mars. Uh, neither of which I lean into a whole lot. Permanently gain one discard around. Might be nice, might be nice, but I want to see what the Jumbo Arcana pack holds for us. Uh, Temperance, get us some money back. Um, is there anything that will turn, well, just lucky cards get? So yeah, why not? Why not keep bearing down on that two pair? Let's do it to it. Grammar, that is. Okay, next up the head. All hearts are debuffed. So this looks like smooth sailing through... Uh, calm seas. Here we go. Perfect. I'm not even needing this, but man, the minute, okay, plus two for every five dollars I have. So this encourages us, this encourages us to stop spending money if I buy this right now. Just stop spending money and just let the money rack up. Which might not be so bad, at least for winning the run. I... Mm, well, it looks like I chose to buy it anyway. So, here we go. A plus two molt. Uh, well... I don't know. Let's at least see what's in the Jumbo Celestial pack. Uh, no molt right now, but we'll get there. Yeah, we need to start bearing in on flushes, at least. Flushes and straights are going to be really easy to get, so... Uh, if we can take those opportunities, we should. Uh, as with right now, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bingo, bango. Oh, that didn't get us all the way there. Okay, so two pair, two pair is going to be much more likely to do it. Uh, although I could get, well, no, never mind. There we go. That's the that's the hot hands. Jimmy Hot Hands coming out to play today. Let's see what we've got. A times three multiplier if I have at least 16 enhanced cards in my deck. Well, I want the molt off of bootstraps, but I also can never deny myself a spectral pack. So let's see what we get. Immolate, destroy five random cards in hands for $20. Let's see. Uh, all cards do a single suit. Good for our flushes. Okay, it's either going to be Immolate or Sigil. I kind of want Immolate for the for the instant. Okay, only having 47 cards in deck would make it easier to get certain flushes. Although I would hate to lose an ace. 
because that's a high scoring card maybe it'll dump some of this there is a lot more low stuff in hand statistically we would get that dumped but converting all cards in hand to a single random suit that would enable flush draws like crazy but huh this may be the smarter play but i think i want to see my molts go burr so i'm going to destroy a bunch of cards yeah it kept all the low stuff as as i thought it might but uh let's go ahead and uh well that does give us let's see um and a tarot card to be used right now nope let's go with the let's stick with the let's let bootstrap do its thing for us uh hearts are debuffed so looks like we've got a hot shot at a diamond flush though and there it is uh boom goes the dynamite as they say as a certain harried nervous newscaster once said uh another flush right there see yeah yeah gotta start relying on flushes that's gonna be very good oh i should have got that six out of hand because i didn't get anything off raised fist for that that was not intelligent okay so here we've got uh joker stencil that's a joke uh times two if the molt contains a pair and yeah we need to play some pairs so i'm gonna take the bootstrap hit on that for a times multiplier because you do need to start scaling times rather than plus at some point uh this will not change the level of our molt if we open one of these so i'm gonna do it jupiter jupiter yes here we go thank you yes I'm gonna try to pivot into flushes but if I have to take a next base edition, Shop Joker is free and becomes foil. Uh, that might that might help. That might be nice. We could get a good Joker and we can get rid of something that isn't like super crazy, like maybe raised fist. I'm gonna go ahead and skip it and see what the see what foil joker we get. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see what that does for us. Okay, so we've got a straight here. We've got a we've got a uh this isn't going to be super amazing out of hand, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this because it's a play. Yeah, it's it's a play. It's not a great one, but... Okay, looking again at... Uh, I don't know. Looking again at my phone because Google thinks I'm talking to it for some reason. Shut the fuck up, Google. Go away. No, please be quiet. Nobody asked. Nobody asked for Gemini AI. Just please leave. Okay. Gonna have to turn off my phone during recordings because it thinks I want to look up stuff using AI. AI is a scourge, people. Never use AI for anything if you can help it. It's just complete trash across the board. Uh, we got a two pair right here. Let's get rid of that. So that's that's the smart play. My anger helped me see through to a fire play. That was nice. Very good, very good. So now we're going to get a foil joker out of the shop. Here we go. Ooh, and it's Mr. Bones. So he could, Mr. Bones could save us one of these days. See, that's like, well, it's plus 50 chips. It's a, it's a passive 50 chips. First of all, yes. Uh, second of all, yeah, time for raised fists to depart, I think. Uh, I do like the chaos a little better. So Mr. Bones gives us 50 chips just passively. And if we, you know, Mr. Bones is great, especially considering the luck I've had lately. So let's see, that will, it will ding our bootstrap to buy this. So I don't want to do that. Next up, the manacle, minus one hand size, uh, which good thing I can play flushes anyway. Uh, kind of mitigates that disadvantage pretty significantly there we go and ace queen jack uh let's get rid of these we're looking we're fishing for a heart and we got our heart go ahead and get the four out of hand also oh wait no i don't need to do that anymore because i don't have raised fists so it doesn't matter there we go Woo hoo! let's go all right and we've got 42 dollars Foil, holographic, and polychrome cards appear more often. Uh, what will hurt our bootstrap the least? Just a celestial pack. A celestial pack is fine, especially if it contains a Jupiter. Very nice. Okay, looks like we're pivoting adequately to flushes. I like it. 
Ooh, and I'm going to take... Is this going to hurt? Is this going to take us from 14 to 12 molt? I don't really care because molts are good. Uh, so next up, the arm. Decrease the level of the played poker hand. That could, that could hurt us some. Uh, we've got... Let's see. Well, as long as we've got aces in hand, let's go ahead and make some of them multipliers. Do it. Okay, some of them have molt, and let's get rid of anything that's not a face card. See if we get lucky there. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. That's that's pretty, pretty gnarly. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, so moving pretty steadily. I might get a little scared once we get to... There we go. Splash every card played counts in scoring. Mm, the duo is not doing a lot. Well, I need to play a pair every now and then to get that. Let's see. What is this? Oh, yeah. Even Steven. I don't care that much about that. Um, Let's see. Times two multiplier for a pair versus every card scores. I think I like the times two. I need to keep I need to keep scaling where possible. Uh, okay, so now we've got a a classic straight actually, very nice. Not very big on chips, but it'll get us a start. Actually, that got us a fair chunk of the way there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss all the all the mealy mouthed crap like this so that we can maybe get some good pairs here we go yeah just the chip counts are so much better on that oh, okay we're only like 100 chips away at this point so let's go for the flush let's really go overkill here there we go running up the score like bill belichick and tom brady all right saturn that's an insult Plus two chips for each dollar you currently have. Okay, so... Okay, the bull and the bootstraps might work pretty well together. That's chips. Although, base amount of chips. Do I want to get rid of Mr. Bones? Because, I don't know, I feel confident. I feel like I'm not really going to be dying on this run. I feel like we might make it all the way. Especially with something like like that where we're saving our money where we're just socking it away for a rainy day the day gets rainier we get richer and richer i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for the bull but baltro messes with the bull it gets the horns uh and we have a pretty good joker set up so i don't need to go playing around with my hand let's do it next round okay the arm so I need to stay away from my good hands. So let's go ahead and play a straight. We're gonna get a bunch of base chips off of that. Okay, we might be able to make it playing straights. Uh, the straights might be okay on this one. Let's see, let's do it up. Okay, we got, if we get at least a pair. Um. I'm going to go ahead and keep playing straights for now. Um, let's dump something kind of out of pocket, though. Uh, just for... We've got a straight already. That's not going to score, so it's fine. We just don't want our hands leveling down. We've got two hands left, so save the good stuff for maybe these last couple of hands where they'll only go down one level five six seven nine ten uh we're looking at either a flush or a two pair let's see what we get oh we might be able to do a full house pretty okay and that leaves us open for a good flush draw at the end three discards to give ourselves a a round winning flush ah but we got over the top anyway and we didn't have to level our hands down at all that is what I call a pretty successful arm, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this since it will not affect bootstraps. 24 molt and 122 chips on top of whatever we're getting. I like, I like, daddy likes. What's up next? The house. First hand is face down. We can get around that, I think. Uh, okay, so free standard back. 
A dollar for every hand played this run. That's intriguing. That'll really help both of those out. We might skip the big blind on this one. I don't, I'm not usually a big blind skipper, but might be worth the while actually. Uh, actually, I think, wait, what's, what's the better play here? Two pair for a hundred base chips or the flush for 95 times 12. I think I'm going to go for the flush. There we go. Okay. Um, and looks like another hot flush headed our way. Let's go for the clubs. There it is, right there. Excellent, excellent. All right, we'll save Hierophant for the boss blind. Uh, because, yeah, I do think I'm going to skip that. $71, lucky cards or destroy cards. We could have been destroying cards this whole time with Hanged Man to to uh, increase the chances of getting certain cards we want, or maybe higher cards. Like, if I start getting rid of twos and threes out of my deck, then that's something to consider. But I think we're pretty deep in at this point, and I don't really want to mess with success currently. Uh, so let's go ahead... Oh, I played the big blind. Shit. I meant to skip it. Aw, oh, man. Well, that makes me... That really chaps my ass. But that's okay. We'll... We should get out of here just fine. Uh, go ahead and do... Uh, just whatever gnarly two pair I can throw together. That should get us out of this jam. There we go. And the more hands we have left, and the more interest we're racking up, the better. There we go. Raised Fist trying to make a comeback. Uh, don't call it a comeback, because I don't think that's going to happen. Plus 10 molt for a two pair. That's not convincing me of anything. Uh, six bucks. No, let's uh, just keep going. Man, I'm really sad that I played that blind anyway. That's upsetting. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we want to sort cards by rank and we're going to turn our two biggest into higher into bonus cards so i can see what they are a king and a nine okay so let's go ahead i think i'm just gonna play this is probably gonna be high card it might be a pair though let's see there we go all right that was way better than it had any right to be. Then usually what I do with house is I just get rid of the three that I didn't use. Which opens up this nice little two pair. How about that? Uh, yeah, I'm not really anywhere close to a plush. And two pair is fine to play in this circumstance. So I'll do it. Let's go. Let's go. Up to $94. Even Steven trying to entice me with the shiny... But I've just got things going so well right now. I don't think... Okay, this is actually a good time to crack a Celestial Pack because it won't affect... It costs enough to not affect Bootstrap and then it insults me by doing this to me. You do this to, to, this to me on this, the day of my daughter's wedding? How dare you? Eat shit, Celestial Pack. That was terrible. All right, the hook. I think I can live with the hook. The hook on anti-7, that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Get rid of a low two pair to start. Because even a low two pair is going to do a lot for us. Yeah, the bull, the bull is really charging through the china shop at this point. I am loving this. I can even play two pair, which I don't even think is my ideal hand right now. And just... And just whip through these blinds like it ain't even a thing. Here we go. Okay. Um, Celestial Pack. I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going to give it another chance. There we go. You have redeemed yourself. I appreciate that. Uh, moving on. We're with not many choices to be making in the shop now that we're hanging on to our money. Uh, ooh, the flush is going to be beautiful here. This is going to be this is going to be a no claw courtesy flush right here. One ten times well, actually, what's two pair doing for us right now? One hundred times six versus one hundred ten times fourteen. Yeah, I think we're gonna take the flush where we can get it. Nine having bonus chips was pretty nice. I mean, we're not getting fire hands, but we are more than capably 
making it through making it through here so yeah if i just get a flush here fabulous i could have even played the two for extra chips but we're gonna win on this hand so doesn't matter that much all right so you're just gonna dump two random cards out of my hand yeah haven't been using many tarots so that does not speak to me i'm gonna go ahead and see what the jumbo has to offer good it has the right thing to offer there you go thank you very much i appreciate that next round the hook it's gonna dump two random hands after we play a hand or two random cards after we play a hand we could either go for i think i'm gonna dump clubs and maybe if something comes along to play nice with that ace we'll do it here we go here we go all right okay the this is gonna hurt probably uh depending on what it discards hopefully it tosses that eight but you know we'll play we'll play it as it lies okay yeah it got rid of the ace that was really unfortunate but but you know what it gave us a nice little ooh okay um go ahead and keep i'm gonna go ahead and keep the jack in case another pair pops up but otherwise we're looking at a pretty great heart flush here i like what i'm seeing fabulous okay i'm getting a little nervous about how much it's taking to to get out of a jam here but king queen ten okay we're close to a diamond and as we want to go for the spade flush i think uh because it's got the king and the queen in the hand so here we go we should play it five cards when possible to really jack up the chip counts there we go still had a hand left uh i'm feeling fine as long as we don't get violet vessel in the <laughs> uh gross michelle is mildly tempting but i don't i don't think i'm gonna go for it um uh jumbo celestial would it i mean there's a pretty good chance of a jupiter being in there i would be pretty upset if there wasn't i'm gonna do it there we go take it take that to the bank bag it tag it sell it to the butcher in the store okay what's our anti-8 boss blind gonna be cerulean bell always forces one card to be selected i think we can work with that okay um i do not want to re-roll the boss blind i am perfectly content to do it this way nice little multiplier there on that yeah let's go ahead and run that first okay yeah we should get out of this one pretty easily i don't think i need three of a kind is not the move but you know what uh queen 10 two pair sure is uh did i have a flush in hand i don't know that i did actually uh i just got really excited seeing that queen 10 pair for some reason okay a foil swashbuckler adds the sell value for a mul it gives us chips that's not really enough to excite me right now, unfortunately. Um, I know I'm losing as much ground as I gain when I buy a Jumbo Celestial pack, but I got to see something good in there. And I have nothing good in here. You know what? It's easy to get straight, so maybe we should take that. Uh, easy enough to get a straight, and I guess it can be a late game backup hand here. But okay uh 42 mole e i don't care about arcana packs so yeah this is about as good as two pairs we're gonna get right here so i will run that eight days a week let's go ahead and uh, this is dookie butter let's go ahead and oh yeah that's uh that's much nicer let's see even though it's only a four card flush i'm gonna that's a four card straight never mind i misread you know i really should turn on that high contrast people people suggested that you know if, if it if it goes you know we can get out of here with a we can get out of here with a straight so we might as well oh it's a straight flush even oh yeah so yeah even better there we go uh, if we can get out of here with that i'll go ahead and take it i think we're gonna get through cerulean bell pretty easily i think the game finally decided to have have some pity on us i think it decided to finally put some aloe vera on the burns um i can pick two 
Going into boss blind, that's really nice. Going into boss blind eight. I'm going to see what advantages I can get off of this. It's the same crap that was in the last one, but I guess we can buff some backup hands in case something bad happens because flush and two pair are not doing too badly at this point. I don't think I'm going to get much farther than the eighth blind, but with this build, I mean, it, it only, it can only do me so good. Uh, so it's going to make me pick this two. Um, of course, of course. Um, although, I well, we can just take King Jack 10 9. Wait, oh, yeah. So we should go for the straight. Too bad we can't use the king there, but if it forces us to use the king next time, uh, I won't be upset. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. That was a nice little chip count for a straight. Okay, it's going to make us take the 8. So we want to take. I think we want to play two pair on this one. Especially since that king is a bonus card. That's going to be very nice. It's going to make us take three. So again, two pair with an ace molt. Don't mind if I do. I could have gone for the flush there, but I don't think it was quite the move. There it is. There it is. All right. We can finally play with a different deck. Hallelujah. All right. So yeah, did not bad. Let's see how far we can get with this. This isn't going to scale up much farther. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we end up petering out around nine or ten but it's nice to see what we can do here um so yes let's go ahead and yeah celestial packs have been ripping us off so i think i'm gonna take this at this point uh anything from here is gravy wow the psychic the psychic on anti nine we might actually get past after all, um, as long as you actually give me something I can work with, game, this is terrible. Uh, why, why, why would you ever do this to me? Um, and more queens. Wow, we're just going to get the worst hands imaginable. That's, that's how I like playing card games. Just... Give me the worst, absolute worst run you can think of, game. Is there anything I want to keep in hand? Uh, yeah, maybe another queen, just in case two pair becomes the play. What is this? This is a nightmare. <laughs> Thank you for waiting till anti nine to get to the nightmare draws game. I I appreciate that at least. There we go. Here's here's some money making magic. Yeah, but we're not going to get much farther than this with hands like this. Um, extra cards aren't scoring, so yeah, no. Here we go. All right. One discard left to make something good out of it. Well, there's a straight, so I don't really need to make anything else out of it. There we go. Um, oh, one hand left. Wow, yeah. See, yeah, playing the kind of... This is a this is a get you through anti eight build, but it's not a get you through much else kind of build. Like, I'm just kind of playing whatever at this point because I don't care, and it's obviously not working out for me. So let's go ahead and discard this in case we get the two pair. We've got nothing left to run with except a pair. Will a pair get us over ten thousand? I genuinely doubt. Yeah, we. We kind of worked ourselves into a corner here. Good thing we didn't do that before Anti-8 ended. Wow. That was that was only by the skin of our teeth that we made it out of that one. So Celestial Packs are always going to contain what we want now, which would have been fabulous earlier. But yeah, let's go ahead and just keep going as far as we can take this. Uh, if we keep getting garbage hands like what we did get, though... Let's see. Okay, we're either going to get a spade or a heart flush. Uh, we're going to get a heart flush this time. I would have preferred the spade flush since we got that nice little multiplier right there. Um, and then another... Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I was going to play the two pair for a second, but flush is where it's at right now. Uh, flush is what's going to get me out of these jams. But perhaps not. Uh, 
I have one hand left. I should probably make it something that can get a multiplier, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm totally fine with this run ending where it does. Um, this was not a build that was meant to scale up. It was just a build that was meant to win on red. And I absolutely managed that. So next time we can move on to blue deck white stake. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.